Now, for this last part, we're ch told that uh, by choosing a suitable interval, that we've got to show that the x coordinate of p is 1.9078 to four decimal places. And to do this, we've got what the equation for finding a stationary point was, f dash x, by differentiating f of x. So we know that f dash x has to equal zero when we have the actual value of the x coordinate of p. So what we can do is consider a change in sign method. And I'll just illustrate you a little sketch here. Let's suppose we're looking at this equation, f dash of x. And we're saying that we know that to four decimal places, or we hope that to four decimal places, f dash x equals zero at 1.9078. So let's just mark that in there, 1.9078. Well, we're saying that we've got to prove that it equals zero to four decimal places. So there's going to be an interval that I would expect to get zero in, okay? If I substitute the lower bound for 1.9078 to four decimal places, and the lower bound would be 1.90775, whereas the upper bound would be 1.90785. Admittedly, this would round up to the next one, but for the the purposes of this question, we can use this value. And what I would expect to see is that there is a change in sign, that the graph of f dash x goes from either positive to negative over this interval, or negative to positive over this interval. So let's just see what we get. Let's see what we get when we substitute First of all, into f dash of x, the value of x being that lower bound, 1.90775. Now if you substitute this value into here, make sure your radians in, make sure your calculator is in radians mode, so that when you put this in, you should find you get out minus 0. 0.0016 and so on. A negative value. So what we're hoping for is that when we put this value in our upper bound, we now get a positive value. So you need to substitute that upper bound in 1.90785. And indeed, if you do put this value in here, you end up with a positive value, 0.0000007, and so on, okay? So what's happening is that the graph of f dash of x goes from a negative value through here somewhere to a positive value. Now, I'm not saying it crosses at this point, it might well cross over at this point, but nonetheless, in this interval, correct to four decimal places, it must be 1.9078. So what we can say is that since there is a change in sign over the interval 1.90775 to 1.90785, then x equals 1.9078 to four decimal places at p. Okay?